So let's look at this example. Here I have fictitious data. This shows the type of vehicle sold by the two types of manufacturers. So here in this data set, we are told that 85 small cars were sold by US manufacturers and 190 trucks were sold by US manufacturers. 300 small cars were sold by international manufacturers and 140 trucks were sold by international manufacturers. So using this data set, we're going to first learn how to develop a joint probability table. So in order to do that, let's make a second table. I'm going to copy and paste the table as is underneath. Okay. Now, in a joint probability table, we also have our total or marginal probabilities calculated, and we also have the joint probabilities calculated. So first, let's go ahead and find the totals for each row. And we're adding 85 to the 190. We're going to add 300 to 140. And we're going to do the same here. We are going to add 85 to 300. And we're going to add 190 to 140. Okay. And this total here should be equal to this column total as well as this row total. So let's check it. I'm going to use the sum function. Select 275 and 440. Close bracket. Press enter. And if you want to double check your row totals, let's delete this. Let's do the same. Sum. And I'm going to add 385 to the 330. So did you get the correct total? If you did not, then go ahead and double check your totals here. Okay, so let me make the grid lines. I'm just merging the cells here. Okay, so we're not done yet. We have found the total for the columns and the rows, but we still need to find the probabilities for this table. So now I'm going to use the same data set to calculate the joint probabilities and the marginal probabilities. So we're going to copy the table as is, paste it right there. As you guys know, you can get rid of the dotted green lines by pressing on the escape key. Now here, the joint probabilities are the probabilities that are in the center. The marginal probabilities are the probabilities that are next to the margins. Okay, let me assign different colors to it. Okay. Now, in order to calculate the probability for 85, you're going to take that 85 and divide it by the total, which is 715. Same thing for 190, you're going to divide that by 715. And the same for the next one. Okay. I would advise you not to do cell referencing here, meaning don't select 715. But instead of that, type it in because later when you change the totals here, it can mess up the calculations here. So it's better not to do cell referencing in this case. Also, usually probabilities are shown with four digits after the decimal point. So let's go ahead and adjust that. And you can do that by clicking under the home tab right here, increase decimal or decrease decimal as needed. So here we decreased the decimal. 
Now we still need to fix the total columns. So here you had 275. So 275 divided by 715. Okay. And the same thing here, 440 divided by 715. Now instead of doing that, you could have also added the two numbers here. I just wanted to show you. Same thing, instead of doing the calculation there, you can just add these up. And if you see the answer displayed with um, three digits, you can always increase it and make it into four uh, decimal places. Okay, now we're gonna do the same here. Again, if you want, you can just add up these two and they display the results in this cell. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm just adding the two cells above it. Notice here the total is one. So this is your rule for probability. The probability has to add up to one. Probability can be between zero and one. So here all your probabilities are between zero to one and the total for your probability is one. Okay. So this also tells you that you have done your calculation correctly. So we have answered the first question, develop a joint probability for this data set. We're now going to answer the second question, which is what are the marginal probabilities and what do they tell you about the probabilities associated with the manufacturers? So now looking at this joint probability table that we have created, as I mentioned before, the joint probabilities are the probabilities in the middle. The marginal probabilities are the probabilities next to the margins, so the total column. Hence, looking at this, the point 3846, this one right here, this is the probability that the vehicle is sold by a US manufacturer. The probability that the vehicle is sold by an international manufacturer is 0.6154. Similarly, the probability that the type of vehicle is a small car is 0.5385 and the probability that the type of vehicle is a truck is 0.4615. So this is how we interpret our marginal probabilities and comparing the truck probability next to the small car probability we can see that the probability for the type of vehicle being a small car is higher we are now going to answer question number three if the vehicle was manufactured by a US manufacturer what is the probability that the vehicle was a small car so here we're going to apply the conditional probability formula, which states that the probability of A occurring, given that B has occurred, is equal to probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. So here in this case, we are asked to find the probability of the car being a small vehicle if it was manufactured by a US manufacturer. So here, in order to find that answer, we need to find the probability that the type of vehicle is a small car and it was made in the US, which is the 0.1189, divided by the probability that the car was manufactured by a US manufacturer which is this total right here so the answer to part three the probability the car is a small car given that it was manufactured by a US manufacturer is 0 0.3091 again we found this answer by dividing 0 0.1189 
by 0.3846. So let's look at a second part of this question. If the vehicle was manufactured by a US manufacturer, what is the probability that the vehicle was a truck? So this is very similar to the previous example that we worked on, except here we're talking about the truck, not the small car. So again here we're going to apply our conditional probability formula. Since the question is asking us, what is the probability that the type of vehicle will be a truck given that it was manufactured by a US manufacturer? So the first part of the formula is to find the probability of the manufacturer being a US manufacturer and the type of vehicle being a truck, which is the 0.2657. And we're going to divide that by the probability that the car was sold or manufactured by a US manufacturer, which is the 0.3846. So the probability that the vehicle was a truck, given that it was manufactured by a US manufacturer, is 0 0.6909. Question number four. If the vehicle was manufactured by an international manufacturer, what is the probability the vehicle was a small car? So in the previous question, question number three, we dealt with US manufacturers. Now in this question, we are dealing with international car manufacturers. So again, in this question, we're going to apply the conditional probability formula. So here the question is asking us, what is the probability that the vehicle was a small car, given that the manufacturer was an international manufacturer? So the first part is to find the probability that the car is a small car and it was manufactured by a international car manufacturer which is the 0.4196 and we're going to divide that by the probability that the car was manufactured by an international manufacturer which is the 0.6154 so again to answer question number four we are dividing 0.4196 by 0.6154 now what if we are looking for the probability when the vehicle was a truck okay so what is the probability that the vehicle was a truck given that it was manufactured by an international manufacturer so same thing here we're gonna divide the probability that the car is a truck and it was manufactured by an international manufacturer divided by the probability that the car was manufactured by the international manufacturer. Again, let's reduce this to four decimal places. So the answer to the second part, when the vehicle is a truck, it's 0.3182. Let us now answer question number five. If the vehicle was a truck, what is the probability that was manufactured by the US manufacturer. So now this is very similar to question number four, except the two terms have been switched. So in the previous example, the condition was that the car was manufactured by a US manufacturer, and then we had to find the probability associated with the type of vehicle. Whereas in this question, we need to find the probability that the manufacturer was a US manufacturer given that the vehicle was a truck. So here again we're going to apply the conditional probability formula. We first need to find the probability that the vehicle was a truck and it was made by a US manufacturer. So in this case it's the 2657 right here divided by the probability that the vehicle is a truck which is the point 4615. So if the vehicle was a truck, 
the probability that it was manufactured by the US manufacturer is 0.5758. Answer our last question. What do these probabilities tell us about sales? Now, when you compare this information, which we see in our joint uh, probability distribution table, we can see that the total here tells us that the international car manufacturers have a bigger share. So clearly they seem to be having a bigger market share. But if you look at the joint probabilities in the center, you will notice that for the truck category, US has a bigger market share. Whereas for the small car category, the international manufacturers seem to have a bigger a share. So of course we can use this probability table to make comparisons.